Hey guys, it's Mr. Barnes, and uh, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about in this video about the first uh, two uh, sections of Unit 7, which is scale factor, and specifically scale factor for enlargement and for reduction. So here's a simple little example I got here to illustrate the idea. Um, you have a six and a half, sorry, a six by four picture of uh, Mr. Simpson here, and you want to get that enlarged to 12 by 8. So um, you need to find the scale factor in order to do that. What do we have to multiply this picture by in order to get this enlargement? Um, well, there's a formula that we can use, um, and this works in any situation. Most of you guys might be able to see what number do I have to get. What number do I have to multiply 6 by to get 12? Okay, you guys can probably figure that out, but if you can't see it, there's a formula that we can use. And the formula is that the scale factor is equal to the original di or sorry, the scale diagram. So our scale diagram in this case is the enlargement divided by the original. So what we have to figure out is we have to recognize what are the corresponding sides to this diagram. And again, the idea of corresponding sides are what sides match up. So if I'm looking at corresponding sides, I'm looking at the 6 over here, and the corresponding side for 6 would be 12. Okay. Um, and again, the corresponding side for 4 would be 8. All right. So remember that our order, in order to have a scale factor, everything has to remain in proportion. And in order to do that, uh, in order to do that, we need to have a scale factor for everything to be the same. Okay. So um, my scale diagram. So I'll just pick a pick pick a pair of corresponding sides. So let me just see. Um, so my scale diagram. I'll pick this twelve divided by. 6, and that's going to be equal to 2. Okay, so my scale factor is 2. Uh, as simple as that. And for an enlargement, you always have a scale factor greater than 1. So it can't be 1, but it'll be greater than 1. Okay? Alright, so let me talk about a reduction. So we have a slightly more complicated example here with reduction. So we start off with, a, with our original right here, and it's reduced, and we get this thing. Okay, so you want to figure out the scale factor here. So the only thing that's a little bit different about this one is that the corresponding sides might be a little bit harder to find. So my scale factor, I'll call it uh, S F. If you remember, it's equal to my scale diagram divided by my original. So my original is always on the bottom in our in our fraction. So I'm looking at what sides correspond. So I have this little guy right here. Well, 2.3. Well, oh. This, its corresponding side is right here, so um, even though this one is the orientation of its change, it's sort of upside down, it's still uh, a, a scale model of it or a reduction of it. So if we want to find uh, the scale factor, we have to find corresponding sides that both have uh, values on them. So if I look here, this one's 4.1, and its corresponding side is 10.2. So I take my scale diagram, 4.1 divided by 10.2, and let me see what that's equal to. So I'll break it in my calculator, and I have 4.1 divided by 10.2, and that equals, well, it's a big decimal, so we'll write it as 0 decimal 401. I think most examples you'd get, they probably work out a little bit better than that one. But your answer is zero decimal. I don't like where that decimal's to. Um, zero decimal. That's better. Four zero one. So that, guys, is the idea of how to find the scale factor. You will run into some more complicated examples, but if you follow um, this formula right here, then you should be fine. Okay, guys. Any questions? Feel free to, feel free to ask me in class. Thanks.